there are a number of mutations which can affect the activity of the LAC operon. For example, if the regulator gene is mutant and therefore the repressor molecule is mutant, it may not be able to bind the operator region. If the mutant repressor can't bind the operator region, the operon can't be turned off and will always be turned on. So this is inefficient. The genes would be transcribed to metabolize lactose even when lactose isn't present. The operator region of the lac operon may also be mutant. Some mutant operator regions can't bind the repressor, and so therefore this operon can't be turned off. Once again, this is inefficient to transcribe genes to metabolize lactose if lactose isn't present. Some mutations of the regulator gene result in repressor molecules which can't bind to the inducer molecule lactose. So in other words, once the repressor has bound the operator, the inducer cannot remove it. So these operons are turned off and can't be turned on. This is inefficient if the bacteria require a source of energy and lactose is present because these bacteria would not be able to produce the gene products which would metabolize lactose.